The prompt method is an important part of JavaScript interaction with the user. It's one of the simplest ways to get input from a user through a small pop-up dialog box. You often will see it used in cases where the web page needs a piece of information from the user such as a name or some other form of text input. So what exactly does the prompt method do? It opens a dialog box that asks the user for some input and then it returns the text entered by the user as a string. The prompt method takes two arguments. The first one is the message which will appear inside the dialog box, typically prompting the user to enter information. And the second one is a default value which is optional and will fill the input field initially. Here's an example of how it works. In this example, the prompt method displays a dialog box with the message, what is your name? and an input field that initially contains the value guest. If the user types their name and presses OK, the username variable will store the entered value. If the user presses cancel, the username variable will be set to null. Null signifies that the user did not provide any input. Here is what the dialog will look like when the page first loads. Keep in mind that the prompt method will halt the execution of the script until the user interacts with the dialog box. This means that the rest of your JavaScript code won't run until the user either provides input and clicks OK or cancels the prompt. One other point to consider is that while prompt is useful for quick testing or small applications, it's generally avoided in modern complex web applications due to its disruptive nature and inconsistent behavior across different browsers. Here's an example. In this example, if the user provides input, it will be displayed in the console. If they cancel, the console will log that the user cancel the prompt. By understanding the prompt method, you gain a simple way to interact with the users and retrieve information directly through the browser, even though it may not be widely used in modern web applications.